Wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, 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 <laughs> you big dummy. This idiot went on the Dan Patrick show. <laughs> oh, God. They only interview him because he's an idiot. They interview him off your stupidity. You supposed to be like, look, my career, I've, I've done many things since then. I've moved on. I've done this and that. You are sitting there being interviewed for being a dummy. Somebody else made a mistake with a gun. You're raising your hand like, oh, 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 oh. Look at me. Pick me. I, I, I was stupid. I, I brought a gun in a locker room. <laughs> I brought it on NBA property. I was worse. Come interview me. This dude just said the dumbest thing on I, I just when I thought like he can't get no dumber. This fool just said he would do it again. If he could go back, he would do it again. I, I kid you not. They Gilbert Arenas stated he would do it again. I'm not joking, people. I'm not. Y'all probably think I'm just hating on this man. I swear to God, this man said, would he do it again? And he said, yeah. What were you listening to the um, night you brought a gun into the locker room? <laughs> I wasn't listening to anything. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't listening to anything. You know, my, my stance was um, I was being challenged. You know, someone said they were going to do something to me. And I said, eh, I don't think you are. I want to see it. So I was I was calling a bluff. I, I, I want to see you do this. Let's 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 see how tough you are. So will will I not do that again? I can't say I wouldn't, because at that time, what was making me great was accepting all challenges. You know, you say you're going to you know, stop me from scoring 60. I don't think you can. Let me see you do it. You know, so mine was a little different because it wasn't me being aggressive. It was more of the other person being aggressive and I need to see you do this. Because. try to understand someone's madness and someone's ignorance and try to find out what it is like why do they do the things that they do maybe that he's a, a genius and he's trying to stir up like this is a strategy I don't think he's really strategized any of it I just think he's really stupid like I really think this guy might just be dumb and we just are fascinated by all of it now, Kwame Brown, 
who they claim is dumb country, couldn't figure out the game, wasn't smart enough, all these garbage. Oh, his hands are small. Like, compared to whom? <laughs> Who made that analogy? So now, everybody's running with a narrative. But this is a seven foot tall man. And you just didn't mean to tell me, you talking about his hand small. His hand would probably dwarf your hands. <laughs> but it's just the level of ignorance. And you have somebody who barely played with him. When he came to the team, he was only probably Kwame's teammate for probably one year or two years. Tops. And hadn't seen Kwame Brown really since. They haven't really seen each other in like maybe 15, 16 years. But he knows Kwame Brown. He knows everything Kwame's doing. Why is he so locked in to Kwame Brown? Did anybody ever ask why? Why is he so locked in that a, a NBA basketball player who's supposed to be worth like uh, almost a hundred million dollars and he go on low tier YouTube channels just so he could talk three, four hours on live streams about Kwame Brown. It was sad. It was pitiful to watch because I it was baffling. And then you realize that this person probably suffers from some type of mental illness. The guy started threatening me, threatening my life and all this stuff. I was like, look, I'll do a celebrity boxing thing with you, but these are the terms. And he didn't like the terms, I guess. You know, he's like, I don't want you to get any money. And what? Then it can't be a boxing match? Like, <laughs> what you think? One person gets paid and the, another one don't? Where they do that at? You know, the rules he wanted was just absurd. So, it, obviously, this is a guy that didn't want to have a celebrity boxing match. He just wanted to talk. You know, so, I'll fly in. Me and my son will be there tomorrow. And we'll set it up in any gym. Me and you. I'd be like, dude. Do you understand what would happen to you in a boxing ring with me? I'm not even what I used to be. And I'm very confident. Very confident. I would do some damage. But I would end up damaging myself in the process. Like broken wrist, broken hand. You know, I don't know if I want to go through six months, six weeks rather. A broken fingers, broke my hand, broke broken knuckle. You know that's painful annoyance. So the money ain't even worth it. But the only thrill I was getting on it, getting out of it, was I get to punch you in the face. So that was like, well, I get to punch Gil in the face, you know, and repeatedly. So I would feel real good after that. Well, you know, it's it's like I say. A fool is going to only do what a fool can do. And a lot of people are attracted to fools. This man tried to sit there and explain how Giannis is the best. Like, he should know. Like, I couldn't do a show like that. I couldn't do a show when it's just garbage being thrown around. I'm like, I can't do this. I can't do trash. We got to have a real show. I can't sit here and say, well, Giannis has the most 40 and 10 games than anybody in the NBA. And the last is Will. Mm -mm. I can't do that. Can't get me with the Will Chamberlain stats, not since Moses Malone and Will Chamberlain as a person did that. And his numbers is greater and they never did it. They never had these rules. <laughs> so I can't, you cannot judge players from back then off of stats. There's nothing really to stop the offensive player 
except for the offensive player being absolute trash. So believe me, if you're struggling in today's game, you would not even probably make the court in the 90s and 2000s. It's a very physical, very difficult game. The windows of opportunity to scoring was not as open as it is today. It wasn't that guys couldn't shoot. You shoot, you got an elbow in your chest for the shot. And I was get up and play ball. Well, it is what it is. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I'm sitting there reading this paper and I got, got to answer this. That's crazy. I'm out.